past Sarah Sims in her carriage. So I took off my glove and let my hand just rest so she might see the ring. And I bowed and smiled like an infant. You must all go to Brighton. That is the place to get husbands. I hope you have half of my good luck. Lydia. <laughs> I want to hear every little detail, mm. Lydia, dear. Mm. I've been enlisted in a regiment in the north of England. Where have you heard? Near Newcastle. We travel there next week. Can I come and stay with you? That is out of the question. <laughs> well, Monday morning came and I was in such a fuss. I don't want to hear. There was my aunt preaching and talking away as if she was reading a sermon. She was horrid unpleasant. Can't you understand why? Hmm. But I didn't hear a word, because I was thinking of my dear Wicker. I long to know whether he'd been married in his blue coat. The north of England, I believe, boasts some spectacular scenery. Lady Lucas was called away from the church on business, and I thought, who is to be our best man if he doesn't come back? Lucky he did come back, or I would have had asked Mr Darcy, but I don't think he'd like Mr Darcy. Oh, I forgot. But I shouldn't have said a word. Mr Darcy was at your wedding. He was the one that discovered us. He paid for the wedding, Wickham's commission, everything. But don't tell anyone he told me not to tell. Mr. Darcy. Stop it, Lizzie. Mr. Darcy's not half as high mighty as he is sometimes. Mm. Kitty, mm. have you seen my ring? <laughs> 